this, this came about because we were doing the Improving Teaching Programme and we had visitors at the school who stood at the back of my maths lesson with his arm folded and said they couldn't be used in maths. So it's nothing like a goal, let's prove them wrong. So, um, five minute lesson plans. We use five minute lesson plans in Finham for two reasons and for the completely different reasons. The beginning is to make sure that our satisfactory teachers do a minimum standard of planning. But the one I'm most interested in is when I do it for my outstanding teachers where they're spending their whole life planning and they have no work-life balance. And I'm giving it them and saying, take the scaffolding away, you don't need as much structure. So this, I think, is a wonderful compromise. In maths, it's a great tool, and it's lent itself to, uh, particularly to the subjects that are very content-driven, because it does allow to follow on from the previous speaker to differentiate. It does allow us to include the students in their own selection of what they're doing, but it gives you the pointers towards which you can get these tasks done. Um, in maths, we've decided that the best way to use a five-minute lesson plan is to use it within the medium-term plans and not to do a five-minute lesson plan, a 30-minute five-lesson plan. Because that's the best way to do it. If you've got five lots of these things out and you're covering a complete module, because in maths often five lessons, six lessons will be cover a topic for us. Um, this works very, very effectively and the department are very interested in it. Um, just going to finish by saying that in terms of the maths department, they are gradually going over to these things and using them as a resource that they want to keep stored up to that utopian idea that you can take a lesson plan off, off, a, off a shelf and then just adjust it and tweak it in future. Okay?